After being away from the hub for a long time, you start to not even think about it. It's like it doesn't even cross your mind. You don't even really get urges at all. And if this hasn't happened for you yet, then you haven't gone away from porn for long enough. But anyway, for the guys who have gone long enough away from porn, you know what I'm talking about. And then all of a sudden, you think you are free from porn. You're like, oh, everything's going good. I haven't thought about the hub in three weeks. It's smooth sailing from here on out. But then all of a sudden, and I mean all of a sudden, it's like, a big wave comes rushing over you. Like I'm talking a damn tidal wave of an urge comes freaking swooping over you and you just get smacked in the face by that shit. Out of nowhere, after weeks, I'm not even thinking about it. But on this random day, maybe you were on Instagram and something triggered you. Maybe you were scrolling on Reddit and something triggered you. You saw something you weren't supposed to. Maybe it's just your own stupid thoughts. Maybe you just had a random thought of the old peace star that you used to watch all the time and it just gets caught in your head stuck in there and now you're indulging in that thought you try to push it away for a little bit you're like nah i'm done with the, i'm done with porn i'm not gonna go to it i'm not gonna go to it but it just it won't go away the urge is just like you think and feel like the urge is uncontrollable so you go to the hub you type in whatever porn site was your go-to and you put it in the browser and now's the moment where you have those two voices going on in your head i like to call them your higher self and your lower self but since you've been away from porn for so long your higher self is now even louder he's trying to get you to stop you're scrolling through pornhub you're looking for the perfect video you're getting all sorts of feelings within your body you're breathing like super anxiously you're like nervous now because you know and your higher self is telling you like dude you know this isn't good for you why are you back on here whatever the voice is saying all i know is that it usually tells you like stop being a freaking idiot and you got your heart rate picks up because you're nervous and you start to feel dirty in your body. It's like your energy is off. It's like spiritually you're being attacked now too. But then at the same time, you got the lower self, the devil. He's trying to get you to get sucked back into that world, which is why you keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling to just like see more of it. It's like you're a drug addict going back to that drug and it's a freaking snowball going down that mountain. You can't stop it. You keep scrolling, scrolling. Maybe you search up your favorite porn star, start scrolling through her videos, and you're still feeling that energy inside you that is like building up with shame and guilt. Whereas in the past, you just thought it was normal to be on the hub, so you didn't really feel those feelings as prominently. But since you've been away from it for so long, and now that you go back to it, these feelings are just like heightened and they're emphasized. And because of these feelings, you now realize like, damn! That is why people are saying that the hub is so bad. You start to realize, yo, this is why it's so unnatural. I'm not even breathing normally. I'm nervous. What is going on? I got this higher voice in my head telling me to stop. Like, holy crap, you get so overwhelmed. But then the lower self just tries to keep irking you and urging you to keep going and going and going until you jerk off, until you release. And then you got freaking nut all over yourself, all over your bed sheets. And you're looking up at your ceiling and you're like, what the hell just happened? That is what happens when you go on the hub after a long break. Whoo! One of the worst feelings in the world, I'm not gonna lie. That shit sucks. And as you're laying there, you realize just how unnatural porn is. You realize just how much of a loser it makes you feel like. You just have just this overwhelming amount of shame and guilt within you. Honestly, I genuinely think a relapse after a long time away from porn is a good thing because it brings you back to realizing, yo, that is fucked up. That is not normal. Because when you are deep into the addiction of just jacking off every single day, watching porn like it's nothing, you don't really feel the same level of shame and guilt. You don't really feel like a loser as much. But when you take a break from it and then go back to it because of those tidal wave urges that do hit you after just the weirdest and randomest times, you're like, wow, that is so unnatural. Ah, I never want to do that again. And then a few months later, another tidal wave hits you. But by then, hopefully you're able to counteract that urge and just be like, nah, screw that. Because let me tell you right now, you can overcome those urges. They may feel uncontrollable, but they're not. They're not, you're just being a bitch, being a pussy, straight up. Like, I wish someone told me that, you're just being a pussy. You don't need to go back to it. If you can get through one of those tidal wave urges, you're in the clear, you're golden. They come every once in a while, I'm not gonna lie, I'm in a relationship, I have been for the last three years, but I still sometimes will just get a random thought about like, oh, that porn star that I used to watch, just like randomly for no freaking good reason. Now I'm at the point where I would never go back to it. I, straight up, I would never, uh, hopefully. <laughs> so it's like, I just brush it off. I'm like, nah, get out of my head. You know what, let's just do something, let's get busy. I don't even have to get busy. I can just push it out of my head, to be honest. But I know what it's like to not be able to. I know what it's like to fall into these tidal wave urges and not be able to control them and then feel shame and guilt like no other because 
you realize just how unnatural porn is. And it also takes you back to the first time you ever watched porn. If you think about the first time you ever watched it, you were like 12 years old maybe. Me personally, I was 12. And your buddy shows you this video and you look at it and you're like disgusted. You're taken aback. You're like, what is that? Is that a penis? <laughs> and just think about how you felt. It's like we inherently know deep down that it is wrong. We inherently know deep down that it is unnatural and weird and goofy and disgusting and demonic. Whatever word you want to put on it, we know spiritually, we know that it's bad for us. That's why you just feel this shift in energy when you go to the hub after being away from it for a long time. It's like you just know deep down that you should not be doing it. So don't give in to those tidal wave urges. I know, they, I know they're hard. I know it feels like they're damn near impossible to overcome. But they're not. I'm walking proof of it. I'm not the only guy who's quit porn either. There are to countless men who have quit and maybe have experienced the same situations as I have. So you got this, bro. Don't feel hopeless. Don't feel like you can't do it. You can, right? I think recognizing that it is so unnatural like that, like having one of those relapses, I think is actually beneficial for you because it just takes you back and actually opens your eyes to the fact that, wow, this is so freaking bad for me. Feeling those emotions and feeling those feelings that I was describing in this video too. If you ever felt that, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Comment below, let me know. Have you ever had one of those tidal wave urges where just randomly one day you just relapse after being away from it for so long and while you're watching the video, it's like you can hear both voices, your heart rate is picking up, your energy just feels off and then when you officially relapse, you're just sitting there like, what the hell was that? I feel dirty, I feel like a little gremlin. I feel like a little zombie. Not even a human being. It happened to me. I don't know. Maybe it hasn't happened to you, but I wanted to describe that for you in this video to know that you're not alone. All right. We're not alone in this shit. I know that porn is a big problem. I know that it's a very addicting thing. And I know that not many men even realize it. So that's why I post these videos. That's why I describe these in detail things that are very, I guess you could say taboo to talk about. Like how many men on the internet are talking about the fact that they used to stroke their own pecker and watch porn. Quite a few now because it's more popular, but still not that many. More of us need to speak up about it. It's a real freaking issue. Imagine when we're all 30, 40 years old and our friends are still trapped in this cycle. Bro, you know what it's like to be addicted to it for like five to 10 years. Imagine the men that have been addicted to it for 30, 40, 50 years. Oh, I feel bad for them. But that's why I keep posting these videos. So if it helped, leave a like. If you can relate, leave a like. Share it with a friend if you want. Subscribe if you're new. If you're really, really struggling, go click the first link in the description and I will help you quit porn for good. With that said, I will see you in the next video. Peace.